very disappointed. What? I just, I know that Priyanka was in Los Angeles for Holy, and she and Nick in their backyard had a big party, and they didn't invite us. That's rude. But st still love them. Still love you, Priyanka. I decided I wanted some oh, alcohol. Oh, urine sample. I actually want Jameson. Sorry, guys. Do you want Jameson? I actually, want no, I actually would like, I would prefer to, I haven't had my Jameson bottle at home is empty. So, so this is nice. This was an empty old monk bottle that I filled with my Jameson that was left over. Those are old monks. Do you have a preference of, because uh, Indrani and I sure do, of the alcohol that there's there's some alcohols that I like the feeling of getting drunk with and then there's others I don't want to get drunk with it at all. No, I don't care. Really? I mean, there's alcohol I don't what, like. Like my favorite alcoholic beverage above all is red wine. Never want to be drunk on red wine. Never. Yeah, I don't care. Really? No. And you don't feel a difference? Like red wine makes us tired and gives us a headache. Vodka doesn't. Gin doesn't. No, I'm not a little bitch. <laughs> hey, I haven't even introduced us. How you doing, no, guys? Hey, how you doing, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Instagram. Yep. Twitter. Yep. We've gotten so far from the original intro. I know. Of Some people are so juicy up. content. Some people are so upset. I'm sorry. I, I just forget sometimes. And it just shows you. It's organic, kids. Yeah. We don't contrive stuff and like, it just, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Today we got like a... Like his butt plug. <laughs> Some... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we got a live Malayalam uh, performance. Cool. Fusion performance by K.S. Chitra and Sharif. Here is a fusion performance by the legends, K.S. Chitra oh, and Sharif. I love Jameson. You get... You guys have already experienced both. Chitra Ma'am is well known to you. Yep. Shareth Sir is well known music director. You've reacted to his composition, Sri Ragamo. Here you can see his vocal skills. And by the way, you have a lot to explore when it comes to KS Chitra. I'm sure that's true. I wonder if. I'm sure they do because it's like getting... some people get upset at everything. But do you think people, when we interview people and we don't call them like Anurag Sir or, or whoever Sir? Like, because sure. whenever I see other interviews of like Indians interviewing, it's always something and sir, right? Yeah, because I think right from the get go, when we when we interviewed Ustaji Zakir Hussein, did they tell us beforehand or after? Somebody said that Ustaji. Somebody said Ustaji. I don't think he would have cared. He He's been have. in America for a longer like that's not something. And it's just him. He wouldn't care if you give him any kind of a, a honorific title. Um, but yeah, I, we did. But it happened with a lot of G. There was a lot of people that were like, when you were, when you say her name, well, I'm talking to people we interviewed. Oh, 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 okay. Like, we didn't call, uh, I think they called uh, uh, females, like, Kul um, um, Kulki Mam or... or um, oh, yeah, to or say Mam, or like when Shreya. Yeah, and like they say, I like when I've seen Indians interview other Indians, it's always that form of respect. Sure. And obviously here, you know, obviously we're not saying we don't respect them, it's just, no, it's it's just not it's how just, we show yeah, respect. We do, it's just, it's part of our, um, it's just not what we do. It's not Sorry, part of, I was just wondering if people get upset that we don't do it. Yeah, the, in fact... Sir, in American culture, when you say sir, what we mostly think about are those people who've gotten that title from Great Britain and have been knighted, like Sir Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. We would include the sir with him because that's his earned title that he got because he was knighted. Yeah. You but, know, we respect doctors and you know, respect, I, even though, I, I mean, I respect doctors and I say doctor and if that's what they call it, but like, I think it's ridiculous, the people that have those titles. Yeah. And like correct people to call them a doctor if right. they forget or no, don't do no, it. No. I'm like, really? You're that pretentious? Yeah, exactly. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like, cool of you. Good job. But we're just having a conversation here, yeah. doctor. <laughs> 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 Anyways, that's not what this is about. No. Fusion performance <sighs> coming up. I love that horn. Yeah, me too. Hey, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody else is having the reaction we're having. <laughs> Looks like Americana. Like. It's insane because I still think we're obviously we come from a Western uh, world for Western music, and even though we've seen hundreds of things now where it happens, it's still like mind-boggling, insane what they could like, especially when they do the thing that it's not a prevalent at all in Western no music. The, uh, I don't know what it's called, right? But the, uh, 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 the, I do it perfectly. Uh, <laughs> But that you, thing. you do it exactly like a guy, fully classically trained, who's had seven bottles of Old Monk and is in the middle of a seizure. Just call me Ustaji Corbin Miles G. <laughs> <laughs> that was superhuman. Yeah. The, it's, I just... It's, it's, I, uh... it's really insane because obviously we have this reaction to that sound. It's like, oh my God, that's like an orgasm to the ears. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Everyone else is there just like, hmm, this is nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, how are you this, reacting that way? That's what we expected. <laughs> nice job. What Please go like, on. What do you want for dinner tonight? M mediocre, I'd yeah. say, mostly. Mm, yes. It, I, I don't know how you, they could just, like, sit there with this performance going on. And you know what I love, too? I really love this so much. So, mm -hmm. like, as, as much as an incredible vocalist Christina Aguilera can be, right? Let's say we have a Grammy performance. She's on stage and she's fully done up and it's the light and the background dancers and she's doing her stuff. What she does vocally isn't as hard as what they just did and they're just standing there looking at their music dressed nicely for the night. There's one reason Indian classical music needs to be trained from basically childhood. Yeah, but one of my, <laughs> one of my favorite things about so many of these performances with vocalists that we see is it literally looks like they just kind of... And I'm not saying that they don't look nice or that they're they're not dressed the way they should be. I just love that there is nothing but the focus on the artistry of their voices. Mm. It's just anything else. What you don't need anything else. You wouldn't want anything else. Just let them stand up there, give them a music stand and a microphone, and then be flabbergasted that there's very few people on earth that can do what they just did. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. I. What boggles my mind about it is that I don't even know where you would, how, how would you even begin to try to, I can't even impersonate it. You well, know what I mean? I can, but I'm, <laughs> I'm Ustaji Corbin <laughs> Miles G. It, what do you say? There's nothing we could say. Yeah, it's like watching Ustaji Zaku saying. Yeah, it's like, hey, that oh, good. that was good. <laughs> they're talented. They're gonna go places. Hey, do you know this song? Do you know like the song they were singing? Okay, I didn't. I was like, it's I'm Mali Adam, so I didn't know if you knew it, but it okay. sounded like you were. First of all, look, their vocal. Range what do you on call that, that by the way? The uh, that thing. See, old monk and seizures. It's a kind of vibrato, but it's right. Named. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's in classical. Amazing. And it is. It's the same kind of thing of a, as you, as you do in vibrato, or if you're doing runs vocally. But it's so much more complex. And 
There Sounds were, amazing. I don't know what notes they went. Charlie Puth could tell us because he has perfect pitch. Yeah, more like Charlie Poop. I don't know what their bottom note was and their top note was, but the range that they demonstrated hey. in that thing and her vocal quality reminded... It was <clears> like <throat> if you took Ladaji and Shreya yeah. and blended them, you'd get that voice. Yeah, we've heard her many times and she's, she's extremely... Good I think grief. She, I think she's at the same level Bar as like a Ladaji and... and like, Absolute. The... Uh, uh, I don't know what her native tongue is. I don't know if it's Malayalam or Tamil. Or, I think we've heard her on multiple. I Who's? Feel like, uh, her. Oh, yeah. Uh, him as well. Obviously, I know we've heard him many times, They're but I, I don't know what her... Unimaginably you know what, incredible. Where she's from originally? Yeah, south. yeah, she's south. Yeah. I, just, I just didn't know which one. Ima- um, I think we've heard her in multiple <laughs> languages. This one was Malayalam. Uh, from, from it's, it's just so funny to me what people in America <laughs> equate to musical excellence here. <laughs> Sometimes. Like Celine Dion? Garbage. <laughs> wrong wrong example. Ah, debatable. More like my butt will go on. Burn. Anyways, let us know what the <laughs> classical songs we should react to, live performances from them or others that we can react to. I had to degrade the conversation somehow. Let us know down below. <laughs>